Welcome everyone. In order to access all apps in your iPhone, we need to identify why we can't access all apps in the first place. So let's open up the settings and then we're going to tap on screen time. If you have screen time on, just see if you can turn it off. If you can turn it off, then try re-downloading the app, which you couldn't download from the app store, and that may solve your problem. And that's because content and privacy restrictions and the app limits and the always allowed feature may be blocking what apps you can download. If you have a screen time passcode, which you don't know, maybe your parents set it, well, not to worry because I have a solution for that as well. And I'll have that tutorial in the description. If you turn off the screen time and you still can't download the apps you want, then the issue may be your Apple ID. So your Apple ID, your age may be set to under 18. And so what that means is the over 18 apps, they're not gonna let you download. The second reason why is your Apple ID is in family sharing. And so what that means is you need permission from your parents in order to install the apps. So there are a couple of solutions here. The first solution is if you need to give, get permission from your parents, you have to make up a story on why you need that application. Let's say you're trying to download Minecraft. Maybe they don't know what Minecraft is and you can make some story saying, Minecraft is an education software which allows me to learn Java and then show them Minecraft education because there is an education version of Minecraft and then there's the not education version. Maybe that will work. Okay, just be a little bit swindler, give it a shot. The worst case is you get shouted at. If you don't want to go through that or you just have an Apple ID and you sell it to under 18, then what you can do is in the settings, we're going to tap on our name I won't do this off screen because it will show some personal information. And where the medium purchases is, just tap on this and then sign out right here. Once you've signed out, you're going to create a brand new Apple ID. And you're going to make sure that, you know, let's just say you are actually over 18. You set your age to under 18 by accident. So set the correct age. Okay, so you, so you are obviously over 18 if you're watching this video and make sure that is done. When you create the Apple ID, they should give you a free iCloud email. So you shouldn't need to use an existing email as long as you create the new Apple ID from the settings of your phone. It will ask for phone number. You will need to enter that. Worst case, if you can't use the same phone number on your old Apple ID with the new one, then you can always go to a Best Buy or a Tesco and there's usually the SIM cards on the on display and they're like one pound, one dollar. Just buy one of those. Sometimes they give it out for free in schools. It took like 10 one day for free <laughs> and then they stopped putting them on display. I wonder why, but that does work as well. And they'll have a phone number you can use instead of your personal phone number if that's already occupied. And it will take a while to create this Apple ID will ask for your address and your billing information, but you don't need to add a credit card or debit card. So if you don't have one, don't need to worry about that. And once you've done all of that, you can go into the app store and you should be able to download whatever you want. If for some reason, you, know, you don't have screen time and your Apple ID isn't letting you download apps, that's probably because you have MDM. So MDM is a block put in typically by school iPads. Uh, to check if you have that, just go into the settings. Now I have to edit the video because then blur my details, but that's okay. And then we're gonna have to find general, and then you're gonna find, you know, mobile device management or just device management here. And you should see this MDM, it could be called Global MDM, Meraki MDM, Lightspeed MDM, just tap on it. It should be under mobile device management. And if that's the case, that is the reason why you can't download whatever app you want. So the solution is you will need to bypass the MDM. And I'll have a tutorial for that one in the description. 
And once you've done that, you can just go to the App Store, download as you please. And if you can't follow that video for whatever reason, honestly, you're better off just buying another iPad. That sounds, sounds a little bit ridiculous. Buy two iPads, why? But find a way to earn money. Okay, when I was, I'll tell you a little story. So when I was 15, I bought an iPad Mini 5 and that was all with my own money. My iPad Air 2, was it was just slow, okay? It was a school iPad. I did use that same video that I made to bypass the restrictions. I enjoyed it. But ever since Fortnite Mobile came out, I mean, this iPad Air 2 wasn't it. So I did earn enough money myself at the age of 15. Was I 15 or was I 14? I was 14 turning 15. So if I can earn £350 or $350 at the age of 14, 15, then I think you can too. Okay, I'm not that special. Well, maybe I am, but anyway. So that is the point. Just try and earn money. If you don't have a clear way, ask your parents for chores. And um, There must be a way, okay? Because I could figure it out. So you can probably figure it out too. You just got to put the effort in. You know, TikTok star, no. Drop shipping. One of those things will work. And that is your solution. Sucks. You probably won't take that advice. You probably will just sit with the restrictions till you turn 18 and, you know, you can remove them because you're 18 but uh yeah so with that being said if you would like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye